it's Reby budgeting. And over here, we're telling our money where to go. So we're not left wondering where it went. On my channel, we do all things cash envelope stuffing, budget with me's, sinking funds, and savings challenges. If that's something you're interested in, if you just want to watch and follow my journey, definitely be sure to stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and comment below so we can chit chat. In today's video, we are going to be budgeting for November 11th paycheck, our first paycheck of November. So let's just hop right on in here. Hopefully you guys have been doing well. Um, it is the middle of the week when I'm filming this. Um, so hopefully your week has been good so far, productive. So we're gonna start with our salary. For this check, we are gonna be budgeting $2,130. And if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Um, second of all, I use the actual columns while I'm budgeting. Just because it doesn't change once I've written the information down on my budget sheet. Um, yeah, just because that's just how I do my budget. Like, nine times out of ten, this does not change. And it also helps me stay accountable and true to what I wrote down in the budget with me. Um, obviously, if anything changed between today and Friday when I actually get paid, I will let you guys know that in my actual cash stuffing video. But yeah, just as a, a disclaimer there. Um, and then also before I get too far in the video, everything you see me using should be linked down below. Of course, let me know if not. Um, so let's start with our fixed expenses. Um, this is not a really fun check because I actually have quite a few more bills than what I'm used to on this check. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that here in a minute. So my car insurance is $130. Um, I have quite a few subscriptions coming out this check um, for $36. Um, life insurance is coming out as well. That's $38. Um, my gym membership of $22 will be coming out this check. Um, uh, my energy bill. Out here in Colorado, we use Excel. Um, this actually went down quite a bit to $62. I don't know if you guys remember my last budget with me. Um, this was like, I don't know, something crazy, like $120, $130. And so I've, I've been able to turn off the system because it's a lot more cooler. Um, but the last couple of days I did have to use the heat cause it's been snowing. Um, but luckily it came down to just 62 for this month. My phone bill is going to be $160. I'm paying my, um, PayPal credit $100 and then my internet slash cable. That's also 160 and then my care credit payment. So this one is going up quite a bit. What I'm trying to do is pay off my balance before the promotional 0% um, ends. So I have a balance that's ending in June, 2023 and then a balance that's ending in August, 2023. So in order to hit that, I really have to increase my monthly payment right now. And then I do have a couple of um, challenges that I'm gonna use for extra debt payments. So if it's getting close to um, really June and I still haven't quite gotten my balance down, I'm definitely gonna be using those challenges to um, take advantage of that 0% interest. And then I'm gonna send my HOA of 296. Um, and then Capital One, this is one of my credit cards. I only have two credit cards. Um, and so now I'm able to split them between each check. And so this payment is going to be 220. And then um, I ended up having to go to the doctor and I needed a, um, a couple of small procedures. And so I'm having to pay that off. So I made a payment plan. So this check, I'm going to pay $90 toward that. Um, oh, 
And then I think the last thing, I am going to be donating to one of my friends. Um, they got in a really, really bad car accident um, a couple weeks ago. And so I want to at least send them something to help them out um, during this difficult time. So if, even though it's not a fixed expense, I am going to pay for it electronically through their GoFundMe. So I just wanted to um, include it over here in my bills. So let's add up our bills here. All right, and that gives us a total of $1,614. And now um, let's stuff our cash wallet. So my spending envelope will be getting its usual 25. And then self-care will just be getting $10. I'm still taking a break um, on getting my nails done. They have not been doing well. As you can see, they're still pretty low. And I've still been using the calcium and the nail strengthener. So we'll see. I'm not in a rush. Although, like, low-key, I would love to have some Thanksgiving nails and some Christmas nails. But I might just have to do um, some press-ons. So grocery is going to get 60. Gas is also going to get 60. Um, family, short-term is gonna get 10, us is going to get 10 as well, giving its usual five, and then miscellaneous, cause you never know, will be five as well. Let's add that up. And that gives us 185 going into our cash wallet. Now let's see what we have left to put towards sinking funds or savings challenges. So if we go 2130 minus the bills, cause you gotta pay the bills first, minus what's going into our cash wallet. So we have $331 that we can now put into our sinking funds and savings challenges. And that's actually le uh, a lot less than what I'm normal or what I'm used to. But like I said, I, I went up quite a bit on my care credit payments, making that donation. I have a, um, a new bill for the next couple of months of paying off my procedure. Um, but the beautiful thing about budgeting and what I've realized since I've been cash stuffing in this way is that I'm at least not worried about Thanksgiving or Christmas. Like literally those two big events over the next two months are pretty much taken care of. And so I'm glad I don't have the extra stress of additional bills, higher bills, plus trying to figure out Thanksgiving and Christmas. So that is like truly, truly a game changer um, for me this year. Um, so then we are going to put, I'm not gonna list it out here. As you guys know, my sinking funds have grown a little bit. So I'm just gonna say um, what's going into my high priority. Um, because it's high priority, pretty much every envelope is going to get stuffed this check. Um, and so that will end up being $165. You'll have to come back for my actual cash stuffing to see how I spread that around my high priority funds. And then my low priority funds, is going to get five dollars um so we don't need our calculator for that so um that'll total up 170 dollars going into our sinking funds and if we subtract 170 from 331 then that leaves us with 161 dollars and so i'm going to spread that around uh my savings challenges and again, most, well, not most of these, but a couple of these will go towards extra debt payments. And so I feel pretty confident about 
um, not stuffing as many sinking funds so I can work on these challenges to be able to make those debt payments. So let's just make sure we have truly given every dollar a job for this check. And I think that'll do it for our budget with me. So starting at salary, 2130 minus the bills, minus our cash wallet, minus what's going into our sinking funds, and then minus what's going into our savings challenges. And it does, in fact, equal 2130. And so we have developed our zero base budget for our November 11th paycheck. Please be sure to come back on my next upload. I have some happy mail I wanna show you guys. I have to announce my 300 subscriber giveaway. And then also just stuff our sinking, um, wallet, sinking funds and savings challenges. If you're new to my channel, I don't stuff my bills. Um, I just pay all those electronically. So definitely be on the lookout for the next upload. Crossing fingers, it should be Friday. Um, but until then, please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.